for watching another Nerd Stalker event update. Okay, we're live. Uh, welcome to another Nerd Stalker interview. Good evening. This is Greg Vlory, AK Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Uh, today we speak with Axeli Rayo, the CEO of Clothing Plus. Clothing Plus is a developer and manufacturer of comfortable wearable sensor solutions for leading brands and and sports and medical segments. And we'll let Axeli uh, talk more about that. Uh, we met him at uh, the ID Tech X USA 2014 at the Wearable Live uh, 2014 um, kind of talks where he talked about uh, a topic called uh, forgettable textile integrated sensors. So uh, we'll let him talk about a little bit more about that, but a little bit about his background. Uh, Axelia has over about 15 years experience in wearables, which if you think about the wearables area, it's a really cutting edge, bleeding edge. Um, you know, he worked for uh, the Finnish company Rema, uh, which you know kind of had this joint venture between uh, two universities and and themselves, which they were taking the lead. And Axeli was the project manager there. And then, uh, you know, a few years later, well, maybe almost ten years later, um, uh, he did a management buyout uh, now, now of Clothing Plus, where he's now heads the company as the CEO, and it employs over 250 people between Finland and China, believe it or not. So. Um, they're actually doing really well, and he's, you know, he's probably, fa they're famous for the polar sensor strap, which, you know, is used in all the, uh, e was used a lot, actually, and it's probably still used by a lot of people, where it goes around your 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 torso to measure your, your heart rate and, and other things. So, uh, anyway, good evening, Axeli. Uh, thanks for joining us here on Nerd Soccer Live from San Francisco. Thanks. Thanks for, for inviting me here. <laughs> no, I, um, I, I said uh, we, we, we saw you at the um, conference, and uh, you guys have just such a good story. I just wanted to capture it here on Nerdstalker. So anything else you want to tell the Nerdstalker audience about yourself that I left out? Well, uh, I'm a nerd. <laughs> at, at least I, I used to be. So I, I had, a, had a big, big role in the, in the early days in, in developing the things. So I, I had I had my hands hands on in, in in the project where we developed the first polar textile heart rate sensor strap. Uh, I, I I ran ran on the treadmill for for tens of hours and I I, I used the sewing machines and uh, it was a really rewarding time to do that and uh, I I think that uh, it it was a the time when the when the story really started to fly, we were quite early with this thing. So, so as you said, that the majority of the people thinks that the wearables is something new. But actually, in around year 2000, there was also a, a hype around wearables, and uh, there was a Levi's, there was Philips, there was Nike, France Telecom. The big companies were thrilled about wearables around the year 2000, and, and we were involved in many, many of those things. And sadly, the, the bubble collapsed and it almost disappeared. But we, as a things, we are we are we are very careful with the costs and the money, and we we managed to balance the the, the, the costs and the, and the sales, and we survived. And now I'm happy to see the next time when the wearables are arriving in, in, the, in the masses, the, the history that we are having more than 15 years on integrating textiles and electronics. Now it's, it, it seems to be almost an academic story that we are having. That we, we, have been, we, have been, we have been playing around with these things and developing the test methods and technologies for, for a long time. And I'm really happy to see that the wearables Gets a second opportunity to, to rise, and um, I'm, I hope that the, the work that we have done gets gets valued now. Well, I think it is uh, actually because um, you know that conference we went to actually, and you probably were just busy on the wearable side, but I went to visit the other ones. Um, Another technology, uh, carbon nanotube, has been around a long time, and I, I caught up with a company that actually could actually print car carbon nanotube onto a flexible substrate so now you could have a 3D device so I think the point here is is that if 
if you're early to the market, it's a great thing, but you never know when that market's going to suddenly bubble up and explode, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, and if, if you are, if you are, if you get get woke when the bubble has already started to grow, you don't have an opportunity to do the all the learnings and mistakes and and uh, build your credibility because if, if, if you arrive just into the arising bubble, bubble then you probably need to do a, a brutal and dirty guesses trying to survive and uh, so so for 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 us it it, it it's, seems that the big companies like Adidas and Under Armour Garmin who are Philips who, who just to name a few of our customers they they value the competence that we have gained as a nerds so I, I guess that plenty of venture capitalists would have killed our story for many times for many years but luckily we 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 were cash financed or operationally financed group with 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 the lo with the low costs and we kept gaining and gaining the, the competence and now now it seems to be valuable i i encourage people who has a who has a passion on on some topic to keep keep working on that because I'm 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 not sure but I, I wish that one day it can be after five years after ten years but that technology or that interdisciplinary approach can become valuable and then those ten ten year experience and all the filed patents and all the all the credibility it can be worth of millions. So yeah. just to yeah. keep in mind that Keep have fun. <laughs> well, you know, you, I think you're in the middle of your story. You're not at the end, and you're you're past the beginning. So, you know, let's but let's let's talk about wearables a little bit since you guys have been in the market so long. So, at, at this conference, you talked about really, you know, your company is about integrating um, sensors into the clothing, right, to make it really kind of a normal a normal less. Uh, abnormal thing you know the the polar sensor strap was really an addition right you 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 put the strap around you and then you put your workout clothes on it and then you'll just have, while you're on the treadmill like you said and you you've tested this out you just measure your heart rate but you know can you talk about kind of where you see your the wearable market today and how clothing plus kind of integrates with that and and how it's driving maybe this the, maybe the forward leading edge of of integrating sensors into clothing Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that the, the history of clothing, it's a, we have been trying to follow and learn that the, how the how the history of clothing has evolved evolved, and uh, it was it was actually quite shocking to see that uh, that the history of clothing clothing is really lousy. It, it's it's a really long. The history is like thousands of years. And the penetration, the market penetration for clothing, it's I would say it's a hundred percent. So all all we we are using clothes. But the clothing industry is really lacking the inventions. Hmm. It was it was shocking to see that there is there has been improvements. There is a better zippers or better water water repelling uh, films or more more visible reflectors, but there is not actually a new features or functions in the clothing. So, so we thought that there must be a way to 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 take the clothing to the completely new new era on on matter of inventions. And we our approach is to to, to see it in a, in a in an interdisciplinary way. So by integrating electronics into the clothing. We open the completely new door and completely new window to add functionality into the clothing, because the, the electronics industry is blooming inventions. I would say that every day there can be tens and tens new releases in the electronics industry. And so, so by combining this blooming electronics industry with quite stable and hungry textile industry, we are able to to to, to create. A masses of new inventions, and new features and functions in the clothing, and uh, of 
course, we can create the clothing to be better clothing, but kind of making it heatable or more visible or more more ventilated. But instead of just improving the, the existing features, we are dreaming to add and create the whole new features. And we see that the sensing can be the next big feature, the set of features in, in the clothing. And I would claim that after five to ten years, all the major sports underwear will, will at least have sensors built in. There can be also some other other applications it can be safety clothing or professional clothing, military clothing, or clothing for elderly people, clothing for, for people who have a chronic diseases. So amount of new new applications and services that can be built of the physiological data, it, it, it must be must be it must be amazing. And uh, we actually think that the wearables should be completely invisible. So there, there shouldn't be any any wearable thing that you wear because we are already wearing so many things. We are already wearing clothes, and the clothes they give an a uh, really fruitful platform for sensing people because clothes are in touch with the textile almost 24 hours per day. No matter are we doing sports or are we working or are we sleeping. Clothes are in touch with the text with the body. I would say that they are covering 90% of the body. So, so clothing, clothing creates the platform to in integrate the sensors and place the sensors into the most fruitful places on the body. So, so I think that the, the sensor should disappear. There will there should be a sensor dust in the clothing, but on top of that, there should be a, a really meaningful, actionable, inspiring applications that should make you learn to live with the chronic disease or learn to work more ergonomically or teach you to sleep better or whatever. There, there, is a, there is lots of good examples that what services could be created on top of the physiological data that we are able to, to measure in an invisible and unobtrusive way from, from the garments. I mean, you, know, you mentioned uh during the talk, remember, and you, I'm going kind of back to what you were saying, is that there really hasn't been a lot of inventiveness. Like, I think you, you claim the pocket probably was the last real functional change on a piece of clothing, yeah. <laughs> which was invented hundreds of years ago, right? Or even and, thousands of years, yeah. yeah. Thousands of years ago, right? Because people didn't want to carry a pouch anymore, right? And, and yeah. actually, just the other day, I, I felt, I found, I had, a, I wore a set of clothes that didn't have any pockets, and I was just t totally lost, but that's another story. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> but, but I think what you're saying now is that we could be entering a new world of wearables that that could be life changing for a lot of people, right? Is what you're saying, right? Because yeah. there's there's sensors and data now that could be used in in conjunction with a lot of things to give you something that you've never had before, right? Yeah. Correct. It it opens a completely new window. It, it opens the completely new data access to to the physiological information. It's, it, it hasn't been available before. It, 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 it has been available for the doctors or, or some uh, laboratory environment researchers, but having the same amount of data from your everyday living should open the, the big data and data analytics analytic guys an enormous amount of information to tell the users some meaningful information from themselves because uh, you can't improve what you can't measure. So if, if you are able to measure yourself, you can improve yourself. And it's not only sports; it can be being better with with the, with, with your daily habits or get get motivation to, to 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 live more healthier or do more ergonomic uh, decisions when you are working in the office. Or it can be can be a good, a really big number of, of, of applications that that makes the difference when you can when you can, when you can get the credible and, and and validated data out of out of yourself. So it's not not a statistic information that you should stand straight or you should you should focus on ergonomics. It's a it's a two two 
uh, generic information. I, I don't get motivate, motivate, motivated on that. But if somebody would, if the application would tell the information from myself that I'm doing something wrong, and you should do a bit differently, that your your back pain uh, probability would increase by with 50% if I would stand stand or or sit in more ergonomic position, or it could tell me that I could be so much uh, brighter or, or or more fresh in the if, in the in the morning if I don't do the habits in the night like reading my iPad in the, in the bed or it, it could it could teach me to, to live better and live more uh, happier and longer life for example yeah I had a question for you you know going back to sensors that you're integrating you know um, I always think of sensors are you know to the polar thing more tactile sensors right something that's actually touching the body I mean can you go into for our audience like other sensors that could be integrated and and you know you know I mean you could you could say anything I don't know I, I'm I'm just trying to I'm just very curious about what you just said about you know uh, measuring certain habitual things about your body or other things that um, you know I I could imagine there could be many sensors that you could put into your, your, the clothing right yeah and it's all about that so. So in Clothing Plus, we have developed technologies to integrate almost whatever sensors into the cloth. It can be microphones to listen to sounds from the body, listen to sounds from the heart, or sounds from the joints. It can be an accelerometers to measure the, the movement or postures. It can be an optical sensor to do analysis from, from, from your, from your tissue, tissues or, or blood. It can be an, it can be temperature sensing. It can be a, a bioimpedance sensing to, to get get an information from how hydrated you are. It, it can be almost whatever. So we in Clothing Plus we have developed a platform on top of which we can place almost whatever existing sensor, silicon sensor, or whatever sensor in the world. And uh, that 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 should be that sh that should be the, the the brief for the for the for the for the designers. That please let us know what what you wanna what you wanna know, and then we s just choose the set of sensors and do the sensor fusion to 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 serve the consumer with the, with with the valuable information for them. I mean that's very true, right? I mean in science, what you normally do, you start with a hypothesis, right? You start with I I want to do this, or I it would be great if I could know how this would work, right? Yeah. And then you design a set of experiments or, or, or apparatus around that, right? And you're you're kind of taking that same approach with clothing plus. It sounds like. Yeah. And um, you know I I, I you know. It just baffles my mind the data you could get out of this if you're saying that you can integrate a temperature sensor or a a a, a optical sensor or a a, a, a auto audio sound sensor onto onto the clothing in 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 key areas so you can learn more about yourself. Um, you know, most of the time you had to go into a a, a lab um, in under probably you know pretty pretty ideal circumstances attached to wires, right? Yeah. Um, to do what you're talking about, right? And now we're now you're saying that, oh, if you have a, a phone, which is a pretty uh, high powered computing device and, and maybe the cloud, we, we you could do a lot more now, right? Yeah, that's I, I think that the that the sensor technology itself it has it has developed a lot. They are consuming power much less than they they used to do. They are they are quite cheap. That connectivity to, to, to collect the information from your body and delivering that almost wherever you want that's solved. So it's it's actually it's it's a matter of applications. It's a matter of service. It's it's about identifying what information and things people would love to learn from themselves and all the rest is just building with the Legos the, the needed set of sensors so uh, it's a 
it's already quite straightforward to do that. Wow. Well, that's exciting. I mean, now now at Clothing Plus, are you solving not only uh, integrating the sensors, but creating a system, it sounds like, uh, for the manufacturer that, that works with you to, to solve a problem, right? Uh, sorry, what was the question? Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, I know at Clothing Plus, you're, you're working, working with the sensor technology to solve whatever problem that your, um, your, your partner wants you to solve, right? But are you solving it only at the system level as well in, in, in the creation of these sensors in clothing and, 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 and devices that would take that data and then uh, uh, analyze and do something with that data? Clothing Plus, we, we are focused on, on integrating sensors into the textile. We, we, we want to make them washable, recyclable, uh, unobtrusive, stylish looking, and we deliver that data to the companies who makes take who takes care of the whole system level engineering. I see. I see. I see. So, so that's that's not our part of the equation. And we think that focusing on this, we're solving already so many problems, and we we, we must have a good focus on. on you know, and appreciate your time. I know you, uh, you've been in the United States for five weeks now, and you're probably itching to go back to Finland after you get some business done, so I'll let you get going. Um, but anyway, thank you. Uh, you know, the, I, I appreciate sharing both the business and the technology talk with us here at NerdStalker. So um, anyway, that was uh, Axeli Rijo, uh, CEO of Clothing Plus, producing wearable sensors and products into clothing seamlessly. So this is Greg Vorey, a.k.a. Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network, where you believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks again, Axeli, and uh, have a safe trip back to Finland. Thank you, and have a nice holidays. All right.